Let's start by creating an edible sprinkles lip gloss. This thing looks so incredible and gives your lips an amazing shine. Take an empty lip gloss container, open it up and we're ready to fill it up with sweet yumminess. Grab any transparent syrup like corn syrup or even honey. Squeeze it directly in your lip gloss container. Make sure to not fill it all the way up as we still need some space for the sprinkles. You can choose any kind of sprinkles that you like. You know me, I love the variety of bright colors so my sprinkles have to be super colorful and happy. With blue, yellow, pink, green and some white, these sprinkles are just perfect for me. Ok, enough of these gorgeous sprinkle shots, let's pop them inside our lip gloss container. You can pour in as many as you want, in any case your lip gloss will turn out so unique and pretty. I am obsessed! I made another version of lip gloss where instead of sprinkles, I used blue edible glitter. Just as we did before, pour it inside the lip gloss bottle filled with transparent syrup. Mix it up or shake it a little bit and you got yourself the most sparkly and sweet gloss ever. These two are just so adorable and the fact that they are edible makes them even more epic. Time for the candy cane lip scrub. In a little container combine crushed candy cane and some honey. I also like to add some grapefruit juice for that bittery, sour kick to it. Cut a grapefruit in half and squeeze out some of that yummy juice. Do you guys like grapefruit? I love it, but my boyfriend doesn't like it at all. So let me know cause I'm interested. Give your lip scrub a little stir until all the ingredients are evenly incorporated. Now it's time to transfer the sweet gooey awesomeness in a lip balm pot so you can have it on hand wherever you go. How flipping cute is this purple squirrel? Is this a squirrel or some other animal? <laughs> Whatever it is, I think it looks adorable. This awesome lip scrub will keep your lips soft and moisturized, which is perfect for the winter. Delicious strawberry lip gloss? Yes, ma'am! This is definitely the best tasting lip gloss ever existed. Take any kind of lip gloss container, this time I went for the squeeze tube version. Take some strawberry or any berry flavored syrup and open it up. Using a syringe, suck some of that goodness out. Nom nom, this looks delicious! Now you can easily transfer the strawberry glaze to the lip gloss tube and fill it up to the top. If you want your lip balm to be even more pigmented, add a few drops of food coloring and your lips will be popping. That's it, the lip gloss is done, it smells amazing, tastes even better and gives a nice rosy tint to your lips. What more could we ask for? show you how to fix a broken eyeshadow or blush, instead I'll show you how to make something way more awesome out of it. We're making a pink galaxy blush. Take a few old or broken blushes and eyeshadows in different shades of pink and purples. Put each color into a separate pot. I'm using a white, purple, three pinky colors and a little bit of glitter. Get a bit of alcohol into the dropper and squeeze it out into each of the pots where you have powders. We're doing this just to get that pasty texture which is easier to work with. Give all the colors a little stir. Set these babies aside and grab an empty blush container. All we gotta do now is scoop small chunks of different colors and place them randomly around the container. Place a tissue on top of your blush and press it down using a rounded object. This will make the blush nice and flat. Remove the tissue, let it dry for a couple of hours and you're finished. Look at this gorgeous pink galaxy blush that we've just created. This is a great way to recycle broken or old eyeshadows and blushes. If you wanna just repair a broken eyeshadow or a blush and leave it as a solid color, all you have to do is squeeze some alcohol into the container with cracked powder, flatten it down and leave to dry. Here I also made an eyeshadow recycling my old pink, purple and blue shadows. How pretty it turned out, right? What a fun way of making unique and epic designs on your blushes and powders.
looks familiar? Right when you are in a desperate need of an eyeliner, you run out of it. Well, don't stress out, girl, because I got your back. Instead of liquid eyeliners, you can use liquid lipsticks. The best part is that they come in a ton of fun shades, so I decided to try out a multicolored eyeliner look starting with a hot pink. Take an eyeliner brush, load it with some product, and you can draw your cat line as usual. I applied it on the outer part of my eye. Liquid lipsticks are long-lasting, don't smudge and they're easy to apply which makes them perfect to use as eyeliners. If you want to make a classic black cat eye, you can simply dip your brush in a mascara. But if you want to create a funky colored line, then liquid lipsticks are absolutely amazing. I mean look at these epic colors! Besides hot pink, I also use blue, purple and light pink. I love how they look together. Who would have thought, right? Experimenting with makeup is seriously the best thing ever. You can stick with one lipstick shade and make a solid bright colored eyeliner look which is very wearable but still looks very cool. Or you can go all out making a multicolored bright liner. This one is perfect for a night out with friends, festival, birthday celebrations or other fun events. And of course there's no limit in makeup, you can wear whatever you like and whenever you like. Rock this cool eyeliner tidying up your house or gardening, because who says you can't? Sometimes an emergency happens and we need to look extra pretty. But we cannot carry the entire makeup collection to school, right? An amazing hack is to use the usual coloring pencils as lipsticks. I used them as eyeliners before, but I was quite skeptical to see whether they will work on the lips. And OMG, they're just perfect! Pour some hot water into a glass and pop in your coloring pencils with a tip facing down. Wait for about 10 seconds and pick the color of your choice. I went for the classic red. Guys, look at this color payoff! These coloring pencils are literally working better than many of the lip liners and lipsticks that I own. I was afraid the color will be quite clumpy and difficult to apply, but I was so wrong. The coloring pencils were simply amazing. Smooth to apply, no streaks or clumps whatsoever. I give this life hack a massive thumbs up! Make sure to use non-toxic coloring pencils and keep in mind that these are not made to be used on the lips every day, so only use them on special occasions, like Halloween for example, when you want to experiment with some freaky lip colors. When the color dries, it looks exactly like a liquid lipstick, matte and it doesn't smudge at all, it's amazing! Why wear a plain lipstick when you can rock these epic polka dot lips? They're super simple to make and they look amazing. Grab any lipstick of your choice and apply it on the lips as usual. I went for classic red but literally any color will work. To make the white dots, I'm gonna use a white liquid eyeliner. Take a bobby pin and dip its tip in the liquid eyeliner. Now you can easily make the perfect white dots all over your lips. Bobby pin works like a stamp. What a great trick, right? If you don't have a white liquid eyeliner, you can just use a black one or even the usual pencil liners. Just have fun experimenting and see what works best. I like the liquid eyeliners because they're very opaque and make the dots really vibrant. This polka dot lips look so retro and pinup inspired to me. No lipstick could ever make your lips so extra and cool. This simple lip art is perfect for a party, carnival or Halloween. But you can have so much fun trying different makeup looks every day. I mean, who doesn't like plain dress up all year around, right? Ah, I love my new lip gloss, such a pretty color! What? Why is there no color on my lips? Why did I buy you? Has this ever happened to you? Well, don't you worry girl, because there's an amazing hack that will make all your lip glosses super pigmented and gorgeous. Take a lip gloss and an eyeshadow or loose pigment. I'll use a pink eyeshadow to intensify the color of my lip gloss. Scrape some of that shadow on a piece of paper. If you're using loose pigment, you can of course skip this step. Grab the lip gloss and pour in the eyeshadow powder. I made a little paper funnel to make that part easier. If you're having troubles getting the powder into the lip gloss bottle, a toothpick or a kebab stick will come very handy. Mix the gloss and the powder together and boom! Look at how much more pigmented gloss we've just created. It's hard to believe that these glosses were the same only a minute ago. Our new lip gloss actually gives a really nice pinky color to the lips in contrast to the original gloss which was transparent and didn't do nothing at all. The lip glosses always look so gorgeous in bottles so I often buy them. But when I put them on, they look completely transparent. Like, where's that pretty pink color? At least now we have a solution. I love this life hack. This is the original lip gloss, nothing special. And here's our pimp lip gloss. The difference is enormous. And think about how many different lip gloss colors you can make. I'll mix this pretty silvery pink pigment with some transparent lip gloss. Pour some of the gloss into a little pot. 
add a bit of pigment or eyeshadow in any color and mix it up. I seriously enjoy so much making these makeup DIYs because they are just so satisfying. Take a look at this liquid silver, wow, so pretty! We need to make a swatch to see if it's good enough for the lips. Yep, definitely, let's do this! A pretty epic and a little crazy lip color, right? I love it! I also made one using metallic pink pigment. I know, I'm obsessed, I wanna try all the colors. Having a transparent lip gloss is so handy because you can simply mix up any gloss color that you want while getting ready. Put a blob of clear gloss on the back of your hand, add a small amount of pigment or eyeshadow, mix up and you have a brand new and unique lip gloss in seconds. So yeah, never throw away a lip gloss. Even if you're bored of a particular color that you own, you can always revamp it and make a completely different product out of it. Plus, mixing up different makeup products is so much fun. <laughs> Makes me feel like a little lab scientist. Hey mom! Hi honey! How was school? School was great. Um, I got something to tell you. I know you may not agree, but I'm old enough and I wanted this for years, so... Sweetie, you're scaring me! You know you can tell me everything. Well, I got a tattoo! If you want to get a tattoo but your mom doesn't let you or you're afraid to commit to it for the rest of your life, a great idea is to try a temporary tattoo first. I'll show you how you can DIY your own metallic flash tattoo. Take a pencil eyeliner. You can use a black one, colored or metallic one like I did. First you need to draw your design on the skin. I decided to make a henna inspired tattoo on my hand. I started making some silver dots along my middle finger and up my hand. Then I took a golden bronze eyeliner and draw a V-shape and so on. You can be really creative and make so many different designs. And the best part is that if you mess it up, simply erase your errors with a makeup remover. I also drew some triangles, dots and lines to finish up my tattoo. When you're happy with the design, take a hairspray and spray it all over your tattoo. The hairspray will make it way more long-lasting and will prevent smudging. How cool is that? Such metallic tattoos have been so popular lately and I think they look stunning, especially in the summer with a bit of a tan. If you're attending any music festivals this year, they're definitely a must-have accessory. You can also make your own tattoos using liquid eyeliners, which will make them even more vibrant and long-lasting. All in all, I think this DIY is a bomb and I'm obsessed with it. Most of us girls have that special bond with glitter. It's like we connect on a level that some people just can't understand. Ah, oh, the world without glitter would be a boring place. Glitter is just so sparkly, magical and beautiful until we try to put it on the face. Then it just becomes a big old mess. Glitter all over the face, on our clothes, everywhere. I hate glitter! Luckily, there's an epic life hack that will make the glitter stay exactly where you put it. All you need is any kind of lip gloss. Open it up and apply a very thin layer on the lids or wherever you want to apply the glitter. Now it's time to take the star of the show, glitter. The lovely, the gorgeous, the most beautiful thing in the world. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm using these pinky holographic stripes, but any glitter will work. Pick some of these magic sparkles onto a flat brush and gently tap it on the lid. Now look at that! The glitter stays exactly where you put it, no mess whatsoever. My first eye is done and as you can see my face is not covered with glitter fallout, which totally happens when you're not using a lip gloss underneath. Now look at this perfection on the eyes. This hack is seriously a life savior when it comes to epic eye makeup looks. Great for a date, night out with your friends or you can totally rock this on a daily basis because you go girl, you can do the thing. Anyway, I hope this life hack will give you the courage to open the glitter container more often because now you know that glitter and mess don't come as a couple. The lip gloss hack is so potent that it even works with beads. These little beads would never stay on the lids. But when you apply some lip gloss underneath, they just won't budge. Isn't this amazing? You can basically stick on the lids whatever you want. The lip gloss has you covered. Some mascaras have two sides, a black and a white one, which is a primer. If you're like me, then you almost never use it. What? Who has time for this? Instead of throwing away these white mascaras, you can actually use them to create amazing colored mascaras. <laughs> That's right, how cool are these? All you need is an eyeshadow in whatever color you like. I chose blue because blue is my favorite color. Scrape some of that pigment on a piece of paper. How pretty is this blue color? It will make the lashes look amazing. If you get some bigger chunks like I did, you can crush them into smaller pieces with a toothpick. Take your white mascara primer and open it up. I made a little paper funnel which I'm placing in the opening. Now I can pour the eyeshadow into the mascara tube. You really don't need much eyeshadow to color up your mascara, so don't worry about wasting it. There we go, our blue mascara is all ready to use. 
see how pretty it looks and it works amazing. Just make sure that you're using quite pigmented eyeshadows or loose pigments. This will make your lashes look super nice and colored. <laughs> look at my crazy lashes. I also made another mascara using purple shadow. I love how you can make a mascara in any possible color out there. These colored mascaras are perfect for parties. They are so fun for all of us who like playing with makeup and experimenting with different looks. My purple mascara turned out just as amazing as the blue one. I really need to try making a hot pink and green one, I bet they will look awesome. This DIY life hack is so quick and easy, plus it's really fun to make and your lashes will be slaying. <laughs> love it! Look, my mom got me a new lip gloss. Oh, it's so pretty. I know, I'm so happy. My mom got me a lip gloss too. Really? Oh, yeah, it's transparent. But don't worry, we can fix it. Really? That's right, you can always pimp up your transparent or poorly pigmented glosses. I'm gonna transform mine into a gorgeous sparkly lip magic. All you need is non-toxic glitter of your choice and a clear lip gloss. To make the mixing part easier, you can DIY a little paper funnel and place it in the gloss opening. It's time to have fun choosing the glitter color. This always takes ages because they are all so pretty. In the end, I decided to go for this amazing silver that changes colors depending on how the light hits it. You can see everything from pink, purple, green and blue reflections. So gorgeous! Alright, let's pour the glitter in the lip gloss container. Put a little plastic lid in the opening and your glitter lip gloss is all done. You may need to shake it a bit so that the glitter distributes evenly throughout the container and this is how the finished product looks like. You can wear it on its own or you can apply it over a lipstick of any color. Since this gloss is transparent, it won't affect the color of the lipstick, it will just add a beautiful shine and sparkle to the lips. Let's make another glitter lip gloss which besides giving sparkles to the lips also adds color. Grab a transparent lip gloss, some glitter and an old eyeshadow. This time I decided to make a pinky glitter gloss so I chose pink glitter. <laughs> you guys made fun of me in the comments of last video saying that I have an obsession with glitter and galaxy and you're right. I do have a problem, it's serious. Just as we did before, we have to pour our glitter into the tube. To give our gloss a nice pink pigmentation, we need an old pink eyeshadow or loose pigment. Scrape some of the eyeshadow on a piece of paper and the more shadow you use, the more pigmented your lip gloss will be. That's enough for me, so let's pour it into our lip gloss container. If your shadow gets stuck in the funnel like mine, a toothpick comes in very handy. There we go, place on the little cap, mix the ingredients together and you're ready to use your new lip gloss. Besides the beautiful sparkly glitter and shine, this one will also give your lips a pretty rosy color. I'm in love with both of these lip glosses and not gonna lie, I literally wanna make one using every single glitter color that I own. Here you can see the swatches. Our pink glitter gloss gives sparkle and rosy color, while the silver one gives just the sparkle. This makes it perfect for layering on top of any kind of lipsticks. With this lip gloss, you will in a way double your lipstick collection. Because for every lipstick color that you own, you will now have a sparkly stardust version as well. How brilliant is that? Getting bored of the same old eyeshadow look that you wear all the time? No worries, this life hack will help you slay the eyeshadow game in seconds. All you need is a nail art tape or just a normal scotch tape. If you're using the scotch tape, cut it in stripes using scissors. With the help of these tape pieces, you can now create awesome eyeshadow designs. I decided to stick four tape strips on each of the lids, vertically and diagonally like that. When you're finished with your tape design, all you have to do is apply any eyeshadow of your choice. I went for a navy blue on the outer corners and yellowy green shade on the inner part of my lid. You can apply your eyeshadow with a brush or using fingers. I like using fingers when I want the shadows to be brighter and more opaque. When you're done, simply remove all the tape strips and reveal your eyeshadow masterpiece. Wherever you had the tape, you get a stripe of bare skin which makes an epic contrast with the eyeshadow. Like look at that, isn't it insanely awesome? Such an amazing eyeshadow look that doesn't require any makeup skills and not even a makeup brush. I think this is a great idea for a party or any other special occasion. I bet all your friends will be asking you how on earth did you do that? Also be creative with your designs. You can make horizontal lines, triangles or even a hashtag sign. That will look so epic. Whoa, how did you do that? Oh, it's an epic hack, I'll show you. Yeah. Okay, this makeup hack may not be something that you use every day for school or work, but it's just so cool that I had to include it. I'll show you an easy way to make a gorgeous mermaid makeup. I started with coloring the lips in white. White base will give a beautiful contrast to the colors which I'll apply later. 
Now for the fun part, take some fishnet tights and pull them on your head like this. I know it looks scary, but we only need this temporarily. Let's start with lips. Dip a small brush in any eyeshadow of your choice and apply it on the lips. Make sure to tap the brush on the lips instead of swiping it back and forth. This will make sure we don't ruin the fishnet design we're going for. For the lips, I decided to combine dark blue, light blue, purple and pink colors. I'm now switching to a bigger flat brush and I'm going to apply light blue on my cheeks and temples. Again use tapping motion instead of swiping back and forth. Lastly, I'm going in with pink and I'm applying that below the blue. If you want to create a pretty gradient between the blue and pink, just tap some of that pink over the blue. When you're happy with your design, pull the tights off your face and look at this epicness. I mean, you need absolutely no makeup skills and you can create something so gorgeous. Of course, this could be perfect for Halloween or masquerade makeup, but I think it's an amazing party makeup too. If you use the usual blush colors like pink or peach and rosy or red on the lips, you actually get that subtle fishnet pattern that looks so beautiful and not over the top at all. Is this a lip balm or a sweet potion? Well, actually it's both. And besides that, it's also a great idea to prank your friends. The main ingredient? Honey! I love honey! It is sweet, but unlike plain sugar, it's also rich in antioxidants, vitamins and has anti-inflammatory properties. I like to put it in my tea, on pancakes or on my fruit. But today, I'm gonna put it in my lip balm. Get your lip balm container ready! How gorgeous is this unicorn with its sparkly wings? Obsessed! Fill the pot with honey. You can totally finish here if you just need a clear lip balm, but you know me, I love color. I decided to keep it classic and dripped in a bit of red food coloring. One drop is more than enough, so let's give this baby a quick little stir. How quick and easy was that, right? We got ourselves an amazing moisturizing tinted lip balm in less than 30 seconds. Through the history, honey has been known for its healing properties due to how naturally moisturizing it is. Swiping a thin coat on your chapped lips will make them baby soft in no time. It's also high in antioxidants that help prepare daily UV damage. On top of that, it tastes amazing, plus it gives our lips a shiny rosy color. Especially in the winter, when our skin gets extra yeah. dry, this tinted lip balm is a must-have. You don't need to spend a ton of money on makeup products when there's so much you can do from what you already have. And you don't need to be a makeup artist to create awesome makeup looks either. All you need is an open mind and some epic life hacks. 